Hey boys, what's going on? Uh, Ordinary here, bringing you episode 12 as the GM of the Philadelphia Flyers. Last episode, we got through our season 2 simulation. We did the draft as well. Uh, we had a tire fire of a year for the first half. Made a couple big trades um, to ship out some of our older, better players. And we actually nearly turned it around. We were one win away from uh, making it to the playoffs, but... Uh, we didn't, so we got a couple of first round draft picks. We ended off just before the resign stage, so that's where we are now. We're going to hit up the resign stage and uh, take a look at what we're going to be doing moving forward. So, we don't actually have that many contracts to worry about this year. Um, as I said, we got about this many. And I think the top two are Smith and Samuelson uh, and Boy Lowe. I think everyone else is going to be pretty much fun with not getting much. Maybe Bennett. And then we could sign some of our picks. But, yeah, not too bad. Um, shit, I should probably check goalie too just in case. I remember the very first year I ever played NHL. Um, I didn't check my goalie and I just lost my starting goalie because his, uh, his uh, contract was up. So I always make sure I check. Uh, Burke, got to sign him up. B. Burke. Sure. Where are we now? All right. Who do we need? We only got the one UFA who can just go. Smith we need. 83 overall. Where's... Okay, first one is off for contract. He wants two years and he wants 2.7 mil. Um... Two years. Yeah, we'll give him two years because we really only need to see this is his last year, but we don't want to just give him a one-year contract because if he does jump, we could uh, get a bit of a steal. He probably won't jump much of it all. 84, probably top. He'll be a third-line guy forever. Um, so that's about the right amount of money to give a third-line guy, 2.3. Samuelson, uh, he's young, and he probably is going to... Ooh, is he going to jump? Ooh, look at this. See, if we give him... Let's see, let's see. I'd like to take him to four years where he will be done developing. That's kind of my favorite method of contracting. We'll give him two, two million a four, like 83. He's wanting less than Smith, and he's going to be better, hopefully. So hopefully he'll take that. That'd be good. Be good for us. Um, Scott Lawton, of course. I didn't even notice him earlier. That's probably going to be the biggest one. So I want to give him a four year as well. Four years at 2.375, the same as what we were giving uh, Smith, I think, isn't it? So there you go. Keep the third line with even salaries. Yoki Paka we need. Give him a two-year if it's an option. He wants... Ooh, he doesn't want that much money. We'll give, him the, we'll give him the term that he wants so we can take a bit off his price. Cap space, um, not really a problem. Next year, I think we need to sign Pacioretty and McDavid, and probably Monaghan as well. So we're gonna have uh, a bit of a snafu there. But yeah, McDavid's out next year. Where's Monaghan? We got Monaghan on lock. Never mind. Um, Nurse, Morrissey. So we got a couple contracts we got to worry about next year, so we do want to leave ourselves with, you know, a decent amount. Um, where's Patch Ready? Uh, we got him for two more years. So it's basically McDavid we got to worry about. Sort by overall. I like to do that and go down. So McDavid, we're not going to worry really about Markov. Uh, Noahson and Morrissey, we got to worry about those guys, though. Next year, so let's save some money. Boilo, of course. Hopefully he doesn't want too, too much. I'd like to give him a three-year. Ooh, he jumps up quite a bit. I wonder if he'll take the same we're giving everyone. Team-wide type of deal. Bo Bennett. Give him a two-year if he'll take it. He wants a two-year. He doesn't want much money. Yeah, it's not going to be much for us. It says he's listed as a depth forward, too. So 1.3. He uh, he enjoyed that. Gained some morale for getting a contract. Wasn't sure about himself, I guess. Uh, Thorburn don't need... 
Kohlberg do need. He shouldn't want too much money, though. Can we... We'll give him to 26. Uh, I don't want to give him a one-way. It's the only way we'll get him past three years, so we'll keep it at three years. Thompson, 75 at 24. Do we want to give him a three? Let's give him a three. Just This is the guy we picked up in the trade when we didn't even really mean to pick him up. So we'll see if that can be a, a steal for us. Just a fluke. Who else? Middleton. Yeah. Offer contract. Joey Middleton, I think is his name. Just give him what he's asking for. Uh, as far as years go. Just pinch a couple pennies here and there. No big deal. Do we want to sign Stadel and Fora? Uh, if we don't, we risk them just piecing out. So let's do it. Ooh, how, what are what for contracts does it say? 43 out of 50. Ooh, so I can't... Is that including the ones tendered? Huh. I wish I would know. What we'll do is we'll, we'll go forward today and then we'll know. Because if it turns off of 43, then it's not. If it stays on 43, then we know. Tendered contracts count towards the limit. Accepted, 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 accepted. Rejected! Simelson didn't like what we were giving him. Okay. Accepted, 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 accepted. So, Simelson, we gotta worry about. Go to contracts. List all contracts. Is it gonna say 42 or is it gonna say more? 44. How does that work? So, we have 44 contracts. Um, if we. Tender an offer back to uh, what's Dick Samuelson, which we're gonna do. Set this to overalls here. Real quick. Samuelson. Offer him a contract. I wanted him for four years. I guess. Why was. What the hell? I guess we'll give him the same contract as everyone gets on that line. He should be happy with that. Okay. And did contracts go up? No, it didn't. So, I'm a little confused on how more than two people accepted offers, but less than what? I don't know how that works. We need to save some room for free agency. I think we need to save four contracts on our limit for free agency. So, I really only want to offer one more and get to 46. And obviously it's going to be an RFA. It's not going to be an unsigned guy. Huh. You know what I'm going to do? Here. I'm going to count our team's contracts. I'm going to skip this because that would be incredibly boring. But then I'll let you guys know what we're at. Alright, so we're at 41 contracts. I don't know where 44 is coming from. We're at 41. With one out there. Bizarre. Where are you pulling this information from? I wonder if uh, RFAs and UFAs are counting towards our contract. That would make sense if there's another... Three on top of the 41, yeah, okay. So it's it's counting RFAs as uh, contracts and UFAs as contracts, and then it went from 43 to 44 because we signed that unsigned goalie that we had. Okay, so we're really at 41. Uh, we'll be at 42 when Samuelson signs. 43 once we get Gagne back. He's not really jumping at all, is he? Oh, well, we'll give him three years. So that'll be 42. I've already lost count. Thorburn. Um, we'll just release him. Don't need him. Don't need him. If we need someone, we'll get him in free agency for a little bit more. But we're not going to need a guy like Thorburn. Just That's how it is. All right. Guys that are expiring next year that we need to get uh, Fora. Medium potential to be a seventh defenseman. Why does he want so much money? What the hell is that? No, you're getting as much as I'm willing to give you. Uh, Stadel and Stanley. Just more defensemen with medium 7th D potential. Might as well stock up, I guess? You're getting the same deal as every other guy that's exactly like you. Whichever ones accept can get a shot with the team. How's that? Ooh. He's younger. So he wants less. How is he younger but still a UFA? Okay, well, it is what it is. Three years at... Well, try to, well, he wants the cheapest amount possible. It's my kind of math. 
And that's it. Okay, so we just have those three D prospects with the uh, expiring contracts next year. We got a couple guys. All right, so that should be everyone that we need to sign. Fingers crossed everyone accepts as well. Might get uh, those two or three D guys not. We got them all. Okay. Got to catch them all. We got them all. So, let's uh, go through just real quick, make sure that there's no issue. So, we're at 46 like I wanted to be. So, we've got four. We can sign four free agents, which should be more than enough. Um, let's take a look at our current roster. Um, forward. Okay. So, we're looking at Pacioretty, Hoodler as the wingers with Monahan or McDavid in the middle. Then we got Monahan or McDavid on the second line with... Uh, we need a left winger. So it's looking like we need a left winger for the second line. Uh, hopefully Noahson or Samuelson will jump to be that second line right winger. Uh, then on the third line we got Lawton with one of Noahson, Samuelson, Smith, Bennett, Zizekas. We got right winger, third liners out the ass. So chances are we'll have to swap one of these guys over to the left side. Um, hopefully Sonny Milano will actually jump up to be that third line guy this year. Wouldn't mind giving him some time. Then, of course, we've still got all these guys, right wingers that could throw on the fourth line as well. Uh, Rust could be a fourth line guy. Uh, Cousins as well. Ranford. So our fourth line's basically fine. So it's looking like we need one or two left wingers. Probably just one. But if there's a couple good ones out there, we do have 20 million in cap space. So why not? Um, I'm on the main roster. Oh, i got to go to in the system. I haven't even checked in the system. Just in case there's some guys that are jumping up. Why is McDavid in the system right now? Okay, so I'm very confused. Is there all main roster? McDavid's on. Okay, main roster is everyone, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, everything I said stays true. We go to defense now. Obviously, it's going to be Carlson. Uh, Markov's still on the team for a year. We don't really need the guy, but we'll use him, hopefully, in more of a uh, second-pairing role with Boilo or Morrissey, Yoki Pack, and Nurse. So maybe uh, we might end up trading Markov because he's going to be taking time away from Boilo and Morrissey, who should both be on that uh, second pairing, and we don't really want to put Markov on the first pairing, so he's looking like he may be an odd man out, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, a little bit old for what we're looking for anyways. I think Carlson and Pacioretty are kind of the oldest we want to go. Uh, and then Jimmy Howard, of course. Um, and then, yeah, we got deep prospects. We're stacked there, right? Uh, we should have no problem moving forward with D, but we do probably want to sign a guy to play with Carlson, so... Hopefully we can sign the best defenseman and the best left winger available. Um, I should check the goalie list. Howard and Kemper. That's standard. That's what we're always rolling with. Hopefully Burke's our guy for the future. 2275. That's pretty good. I mean, our goalies have been doing fine for us, even in our two years where we haven't won really anything. So I don't think we need to worry about signing a goalie. So we're going to go left winger, and we're going to go defenseman. If there's two left wingers available, we'll do it. If there's two defensemen available, I don't think we do it. I think we just need one D, one or two left wingers, and we should be good. If we need to move out some guys, we've got a ton of D prospects. we got Markov, and we got a ton of right wingers as well that are all like 25, 26 years old, around 82, 83 we got so many of those guys. All right, so let's sim the free agency. Um, okay, I mean, let's meet with some players. <laughs> ben Thompson. All right, Ben, what do you got to say, buddy? Good to join the team. Welcome aboard. You were an afterthought, but welcome anyways. I don't care that we traded Mazaros away. I'm not sorry. We'll be better in the long run. No effect. Okay. That was it. Two meetings, and we're done. Into free agency we go. Only been recording about 15 minutes, so we're good. Should be able to uh, rip through free agency and maybe even sim uh, through preseason. 
Redeem the dream. Wrong wing. Why is everyone got to be a right winger? We don't need that. We need left wingers. Tangay at 37 isn't the left wing solution. He's 84. We're going to have that. So, shitty crop here. And then Brennan Smith at 83 is the best defenseman available. Huh. Brutal. Um, hmm. Not stoked on the crop of free agents. That's really uh, going to affect our success this year. Um, let's sort it by roll. I mean, hopefully there's some... Um, I guess Marchand and Tangay are both listed as left uh, second liners. So maybe they'll have an okay season. Uh, not really impressed, though. I mean, what are they both, 84s? Yeah. Eesh, yikes. Marchand or Tangay? Tangay wants less money. Um, fuck. I don't like Marchand, so let's get, let's get Tangay. Uh, he's probably not going to want to come to the team because we're not going to win a cup. So I like how Colorado's interested. Fucking always going to be on Colorado, aren't you, Tangay? All right. Three and a half million dollars. That's more than he wants. Hopefully it's enough of a pay raise that he's going to come to a losing team in Philly. And then um, we're still sorted by role, so we're going to have to go down or a bit quicker to go to defensemen. Top six, top six. Yeah, there's no top two to play with Carlson. There's not even a top four. Yikes. Foleen um, out of Minnesota. He's a top six guy um, who's 26, so he might get a jump. That's the best thing I think we can get, as well as Petrovic down there, who's 80 at 25 with the high potential. Ugh, it's slim pickings is what it is. Should we check if there's a goalie? Elliot. Nah, we don't need that. Okay. So let's take a look at the D. Let's just take a look one more time. Do we want to sign Feline with the hopes that he makes some sort of jump? Um, no, I don't think we do. Do we want to sign some guy that we're going to be able to flip with a bit of value at the trade deadline? Yes, yes, we are. And that's going to be Brendan Smith, isn't it? Get him on this team with his brother. It's a cute story. He's 28, so he shouldn't want too much money to come to the team. Hopefully we get him with that. I mean, your brother's on the team. Wouldn't that be cool if he, like, had something to say about that when he signed? Like, oh, I signed here because my brother's here. That's uh, too much to ask, I'm sure. And then I guess we'll take a look at one more forward with the same type of uh, mind frame. Someone we can flip. Not too expensive to sign. Not too hard to trade away, but someone that's not going to take up too much playing time from our from our other guys. Someone like Matty Perot. I just don't want to take away playing time. How about Emerson Edom? He's got a chance to make a jump. That's who we're going to go for, fourth liner. And we can throw him on the fourth line if we need to. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Years, he only wants one year. We'll bump him up to two mil. Hopefully that's enough to get him. I think that's all... Oh, apparently we're trading away a pick for him. Fuck, just spam an A. I didn't realize he was an RFA. Oh, well. That's a... Uh, chances are we're not going to get him then. So I might as well offer another guy because free agents, you know. Or restricted free agents, I meant to say... Glenn Denning. Mm. Here we are again. Pajot. Beck. Beck would be pretty much the exact same thing as we just... Hmm, is that going to work, though? I'm wondering. Who's Barbario, and why is it saying we tendered him a contract? What? Smith, we have a contract too. Yeah, it's just it's just a graphic glitch, I guess. All right, weird. 
Tange. Edom. I just saw another random name go green. Oh, it's just a glitch. Whatever. Good bug testing, yay. Great job. Um, alright. Let's, let's get a potential guy. Let's do that. Someone... 76. Piri could get a jump. He could. Probably won't, though, so let's not worry about it. Time again. Josh Juris. Wouldn't be bad. Like, a guy like Peugeot would be good to sign, but I don't... Who's Nezla Schlepp? I'm going to go Nezla Schlepp. Hopefully... Carolina. He looks like he's on Carolina right now, so we're going to have to offer up something. Do they want a match? No picks required. Good. Okay, Nezla Schlepp. That's the four we're going to go for. Let's advance some days here. See if we don't hear back from somebody. We got Edom. So we got to wait to see if he's going to get matched. We got Nezla Schlepp. We got to wait if his team's going to match. Rejected by Smith. Um, we're not going to win. Tangay. Okay. So, Smith says he'll still sign if he's still available. I mean, I don't know if that's a thing that happens in this. Oh, he's still available. So he wants more money from us. Fucking money-grubbing little piece of shit. So we get, we offered him 4.5 last time. We'll offer him 4.7 this time. See if that's enough money to drag him away. I guess no other teams are interested in him, so that's why he's still all available. Where? What the fuck was that screen? I was just on what, trade and improve? What is that? All right, advanced day. What do you say, Smith? Okay, we didn't get Nezla Schleb. We got Edom. So we had to give away our third pick for Edom. That's okay. Uh, ooh, a trade. They want to get rid of... They want Markov, and we want to get rid of Markov. Ooh, I'm excited about that. They want to give us a deep prospect, which we don't need. Um, sorry to say. We have a million of those. What else do they want to give away? left wing prospect. I mean, we did just get a couple in the draft, but uh, Subban. They don't have anyone really close to ready to go, hey? It's too bad. We could get this Baron guy instead of this Ruiv guy. One year younger, seven points lower. Uh, I'm not really stoked on that. Do they want to give any attendees? Uh, Dororier potential backup guy. And then draft picks. They wanted... We could get their second. I doubt we could get their first for Marco. That'd be killer. Nah, too much value. I don't really want a second. Who do they have for D that we could just scoop up that's not even... That they don't want to trade away? No one. See, we need a guy like... I don't want to say Voinov because he's a piece of shit. Um, Hamhus. That's what we need. We need a Hamhus or a Dupre. But that's a, that's a lot to ask. Um, and probably not going to happen. So, I don't think we're going to make this trade with them. We'll give them away to some other team. Um, we're still waiting to hear about Smith, aren't we? Come on, buddy. Tell us. Accept it. Okay, cool. So, we will... We have one free slot left. I guess we'll just keep that um, as a way to make trades. So we can take on two players instead of uh, being at the limit. We should be at 49, right? If I go in here. Yeah, contract's 49. So let's see what our decor is looking like because, unfortunately, um, we don't have anyone to play with Carlson. We did trade away Yandel uh, and Coburn and anyone that was really in a position to play up there. Um, Morrissey and Boylow could get a jump. Uh, it's not out of the picture. Same with a guy like Nurse. Um, but let's not hold our breath. Markov has basically no trade value, so that's too bad. Um, we might have to pair him with one of our other D prospects just to interest a team and get enough value out there. Um, so a guy like Walter Spooner or Zaboral that we got at the deadline might have to be shipped out so we can bring in someone uh, that can actually play this year because... We don't really have a decor. Um, 
We have D for the future, so getting rid of one isn't that big of a deal. Uh, Bean, of course, is hopefully our future stud, along with one of uh, Wotherspoon or Zaboral. Uh, Carlson's probably going to stay in the top two pairings forever. Uh, Nurse, he should be able to get quite good. Like, we have no shortage of value here, so... Zaboral and Wotherspoon, uh, the 74. I think Zaboral would be the odd man out just because he's got a one less year to develop. They're on the same contract. Um, they're both two-way D. So we'll throw Zaboral in with Markov. See if any team is interested. Or see what team... Here, I'm going to skip through all this. I'm going to try to find a defenseman that matches what we're looking for. All right, so I've gone through the entire league. Um, I was really looking for a defensive defenseman to play next to Carlson, someone that's going to, you know, get up there because that's the two player types you want to mix, either two-way, two-way, or offensive, defensive. There's not really anybody that's in, like, the 85 and above that's a defensive defenseman that's still got a couple years to get better. Uh, the only one I found is Good Branson here in Boston. But he's nearly done growing, and as you can see, he doesn't have much trade value because of it. Um, plus, I'm pretty sure his, uh, what's the one where you don't get penalties? Discipline is really low. Yeah, 70. So I don't really want to go for it. Um, there's three other players that I noticed, Seth Jones, uh, Ristolainen, and Derek Pouliot, I think are the other three that we might go for. Uh, here's Pouliot. Um, he's an 87 at 23. So, basically exactly what we want, but he's offensive, so I didn't really want to do that. Uh, I'd rather put offensive with two-way rather than offensive with offensive. So, I will show you... I can't remember where Seth Jones was. He was close to where I am now. Alright, here he is. He's in Edmonton. So, he's got about the same amount of trade value. He's also 87. Um, but he's 22, so he's got a year on Pouliot. He's a year younger. And he's a 2 AD, so I'm preferring Jones at this point. Um, but the only thing with both of these guys is their trade value is a bit much. Like, if we throw them on here, um, it's pretty close, but they don't want to give them away, so it's probably not going to work. So the guy I'm thinking we do make the move for is way down here. No, not Vancouver. Apparently not Winnipeg. Jesus, I should have fucking wrote this down. <laughs> Am I high or something? Like, why can't I find the players I'm looking for? It must have been before Vancouver. Toronto. Must be on Toronto then. There we go. Rasmus Ristolainen right here. 85 overall. 22 years old. A lot less trade value than those other guys because he's in the low potential. But he also... He's a 2 AD. He's got a low contract. Um... It's not gonna. It's gonna be out, so we're gonna have to pay him coming up, but it shouldn't be too much money. And he doesn't need to be a long-term piece, which is kind of uh, nice. That is a trade that should go through. Uh, we'll just have to pull back anything they want to give out, and that should work for us. I we shouldn't. Oh, they don't want to give away anything. Classic video game. All right, all skaters. Ooh. Malkin, Shattenkirk. A couple of studs, eh? Alright. Who should we pull back from them? I wonder if there's any uh, potential guys. High top nine forward. They're giving up on Guptal, aren't they? I guess he doesn't got much ears to get better. We'll sort by potential. We'll try to grab someone that might turn into something for us. Who knows? Someone who's like 24, 78, something like that. With no trade value, hopefully. 76 to 25, there was that Guptal guy again. Bottom six forward. Medium si This guy, Jay Nantle. Uh, no trade value, but he looks like he might be someone. So we'll try to grab him in this trade. So it looks like it should go through. They want Saboral. Uh, kind of sucks to trade for the guy and then send him away right away, but we do need some help this year just if we want to even be remotely competitive, right? So that should work for us. Um, also, a little bit of a cap dump with Markov. Um, so that will give us the room to pay Rissalina next year if we need to. 
Let's see if this goes through. Absolutely. And that should do it for free agency and all that. Um, fuck off, Hoodler. We're going to have a bunch of meetings for trading away Mark Arv, aren't we? Oh, well. I'll get over it. So let's calendar it up. I don't know how long I've been recording because the time's not going to be accurate to all this time I wasn't talking and just looking uh, for players to trade. So when does the uh, preseason start? Somewhere near the end of September, something like that. Uh, we'll go to player morale. We'll do these meetings real quick. Smith. Good. I hope it is, too. Positive effect. Give him the same answer. Give him the same result. Atta boy. Ristolainen wants to make us proud. Welcome aboard. No effect. I don't care. I think the trade will make us better. There we go. So, back out of this shit. Keep the sim going. Let's get all the way up to uh, preseason and set our lines and see if we can't uh, sweep the preseason with with what we've got. I mean, usually teams are playing rookies. We're not going to do that. We're just going to set our NHL regular season line and hope that it's enough to uh, smoke some teams in preseason. When's it going to load? That's a real question. Gonna have to probably pull McDavid up from the minors again because it seems to love to put him there. Jesus, quit with the sim. It must be uh, the 21st or something. It must be just loading up all the actual games for the season. That's why it's taking so long right now. There we go. Stop simulation. Preseason games. Here we go. Let's set the line. Zzz, plural. If I can remember where it is. Here we go. Manage rosters out of lines. What do we got here? Patch ready. Monahan. So we do definitely need to go to the roster moves and pull up McDavid, who is missing. Classic. Um, waiver eligible? No. We need to no. know. Morrissey, but we want to keep him up. Ooh. So we might have to waive someone to get... Uh, Some guys like Milano. Where the fuck is McDavid? There he is. 90 overall. Beauty. Says he has to go through waivers. What the hell is that? He better not. I'll fucking lose my mind. So we need McDavid up. We want Milano up. And we want Nurse up. We will send down... Um, we'll go centers. We need to get rid of center. Cousins. Didn't make the list. Sorry, buddy. One. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of winger it is because we... Is it sorted by overall? Thompson. Sorry, you didn't make the cut this year. Maybe next year. Preseason, you normally don't have to do waivers. So if they make us put McDavid through waivers, like, what the hell? That'd be totally fucked. And a defenseman as well. Who do we got? Yoki Paka didn't make the cut, eh? Alright, so that should be what we're trying to deal with here. If I hit finish... No waivers, no waivers, no waivers. Okay, good. Beauty! Alright, so go to edit lines. Why? We'll do best lines to start, and we'll go from there. So McDavid should be our first line center with Monahan on the second. Beauty, beauty, Tangay, yeah, we had him there. We want Samuelson, not Smith. Everything else looks like they got it right. Maybe Noah Sidden did get that jump up to 85, so we'll throw him on the second line to start things off. We got two-way, 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 so we got a hard-working two-way... Uh, Second line with playmaker, playmaker, power forward. Even though Patch already should technically be a sniper, so hopefully that works for us. Playmaker, two way forward, two way forward, and two way forward, two way forward, sniper. We'll see what happens with that lineup. Maybe not the best. Uh, on D, Ristolin and Carlson, the way we expected it. Morrissey, Boylo, Smith, Nurse. So Smith, 
probably going to stay on that uh, third pairing, even though we didn't get him for that, but we can't really take ice time away from these two guys. And then Nurse as a 82. He's fine there. In net, Jimmy Howard, Darcy Kemper went up by 1 to 83. Jimmy Howard still at 87. Scratched. Bennett, Milano, Nestor still all not getting time. So maybe uh, we throw Milano on the fourth line. Bennett doesn't really need any ice time. It's kind of done for us. Didn't do what we needed him to do. But Edom is set to be like his his uh, what's it called? Like not potential, but what he is is a fourth liner. So I don't know if it'd be better to keep him on there. Hmm. Who knows? I uh, will go back. We'll go roster moves. We'll send. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We'll send Milano down for now. I mean, we did just call him up, but he doesn't really have a spot on the team. Probably be better for him to play in the minors. Same with Bennett. We'll throw Bennett down as well. Finish. Confirm. We're not going to be under any size limit, are we? No. All right. Let's do some quick simulating. Fuck, you know what I wanted to do? Sorry, I gotta do it. Um, how do I switch to the other boys? I want to check out... Did I hit trade? Yep, classic me. I want to check out uh, our goalie prospects in the minors here. Alright, who do we have in net? Steen and Burke. Burke, 77. Steen, 80. So, how old is Steen? 24. He might still be able to take that backup job away from... Uh, Kemper, and then Burke's only 22, so hopefully he's got some time to go. A bunch of guys scratch just because there's so much, uh, so many players we got. Oh well. Now we'll see if we can't uh, roll through preseason, and that will be the episode. A little bit of a long one, but uh, had to do free agency, right? Okay. Here we go. Simulate up to this day. Hopefully we just crush 9-6. If we can score 9 goals a game, that'd be fucking beauty. Okay, apparently we're setting up the scout as well. Is it finally? There we go. Now it's finally worth scouting in some of these other leagues. Because there's not a million players. No one in the rest of the world is here. <laughs> Let's do some Russian forwards. Another win. Beauty. Keep it rolling. Four in a row. Five in a row. Six in a row. And we can't pull off the sweep. All right, six and one in the preseason, not bad. Um, hopefully, we can keep the record going like that through the regular season. Of course, we were playing against some teams that don't have their full NHL roster set up, but um, hopefully, that's a sign for things to come. Uh, we did beat the Columbus Blue Jackets, who also went six and one and zero. We were their only one, um, as well as the Capitals. So, hopefully. We uh, we have a better turnout this year than we did last year. Thanks so much for watching this one, guys. If it was something you enjoyed, uh, would love if you smash that like button. Uh, leave some comments if you want to see me make any changes, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.